Hey guys, it's Nanika here bringing you another episode of Cinderella's Chateau on Natcraft. Uh, I did something different, and it was off camera. I did fix Cinderella's tower hers itself. Now it just looks like Grunty's tower, if I'm being perfectly honest. But this is how it looks. This is a picture of how the reference is supposed to be. It does curve out a little bit more, but... <laughs> let's just focus on the actual house before i even curve it out even more so might just finish up the kitchen because that's pretty much almost done and then we'll work on the exterior once again i want to work more on the interior i have to fix this part up but yeah let's just see the view of center of the chateau i actually like how open and light it is compared to everything because it is closed off there are actually windows here as well and i will put them but right now let's just go to cinderella's room real quick all these flights of stairs i like how these came out especially and there is another pillar that they did add in that i did notice that they added in the scene where she's going down to see gus there is another pillar to keep everything up the window is actually right here to let the room in there was some light and it is the morning light it makes a lot more sense that when she's coming out of the room the morning light is hitting her directly and it makes a lot of sense but yeah this is the only part of the build i had to fix this part up too that the exterior and the interior are one of the same that's why there's not a double air here now her room is a lot smaller but i think it makes sense yes there's supposed to be more space here because this is where she sits at her vanity and this is where she changes I might just do like a little thing here, like a little room uh, door so that way it could make it seem like she's changing. And then I'll just do a little stool here and a seating area because it generally is a small room. So there's your seat. And that little section, you see that little tower next to um, where her tower is, the little tiny tower. I've been wondering for the longest time what's behind that door that's in her room. And I'm guessing that's just some sort of closet i'm just gonna guess that's some sort of closet so i'm gonna add another door there but this is generally cinderella's room much more sense that there's the castle there just imagine the castle is there look at that there you go pretty i honestly really love how the chandelier came out a lot especially with the new stuff i don't know how i would have pulled it off with the old updates or anything i probably would have found a way like i just would have used the orange ones but i like how it came out obviously these things are not gonna stay but well, actually, I don't know. They might stay. It adds a little bit of something, something. I oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't. I never added this. It's so weird. Okay, I'll just keep it like this for the time being. I'll be something else that I'll fix later. So we will add the lights here. We'll make it the same way so that way it's somewhat symmetrical. Okay, so another window. No, not a window. Uh, the lights here. Shape and yeah in the last part i didn't really talk too much that was also because i didn't think in the sense of things that there wasn't really too much to talk about which is unfair of me to say because there usually is and i shouldn't really deviate from one video to another that you have to watch one video because i know not everyone watches the same all my videos it's okay it does because it doesn't hit the same for everyone else that's the same thing to be said about other videos like in terms of other youtubers like for example dashi i love dashi dashi is one of my all-time favorite youtubers berlizzi is one of my all-time favorite youtubers but i don't watch all their videos that's because some of them don't hit home for me that does not mean i'm going to stop watching their videos it's just i prefer some of their other videos compared to their other ones like i mean with dashi's videos it's mostly some of the scary games like some some of them don't hit home but some of them are really funny but not every video is going to hit that hard. I thoroughly enjoyed Berlizzi's, um Let's Play on Last of Us 2. Because I'm going to tell you all straight up. I played the first one and it's not that I didn't like it. I love the story. I love the story of the first one. And I like the story. Well, no. I'm not. I'm putting it lightly. I love the story in, in number two. That's going to be a very sore throat for some people. Because I know how some people feel about... Not just one thing, but the other things in this in the game. But I love it. I love the layers of that they make you question in terms of the characters and the story itself. I love that. I've always loved that in storytelling, especially with character development and character in general. 
but I loved watching Berlizzi <laughs> going back and forth because that's usually like it's like a roller coaster when you think about it with oh my god I'm trying to find the light I'm sorry I'm going off topic really quick <clears throat> let me just go here because it's much easier <laughs> But yeah, I love the how it takes you on a wild ride in the sense that, you know, you think about one thing and then you go think about it in another way. So, and the thing is too, Walking Dead really did help me with that perspective. Hi, Creeper, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my, oh my god. But no, there are already Creepers in this house. The sisters and the mama. Let's, go, let's, let's be real now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Walking Dead really helped with everything. Like, and the funny thing is, if you're going in a story that deals with zombies, don't expect it to be black and white. Like, in terms of one side is good, one side is bad. Don't expect that. That's like the wrong way to go about it with a zombie story. Especially with a zombie story. Yes, the zombies are technically the bad guys. That's usually how it was before, but... Night night, people. Those are the factors you have to put into perspective. By the way, if you're new to this channel, uh, first of all, it's fine that you're watching part four. I highly recommend you go to the other parts to watch it to get to this point. But hey, you do you. I tend to ramble. I do different voices from time to time. Not very well, in my opinion. I still have a long way to go in terms of practicing, but that's fine. I may do another video challenge with that perspective. Say what? But hey, welcome to my channel. I post a lot of art videos, Disney videos, and video game videos such as this. And some of them devi deviate. Some of them um, are mixed together like this. Counts as a let's play in a way, but also an art video because it's Minecraft. <laughs> it's funny, I always put Minecraft as uh, an art game. It kind of is, honestly. Uh, because of what you could do in it and I love it that's one of the main reasons why I do love it and I always try to get my friends into it but they tried it they gave it a fair shot and it just doesn't hit for them which is fine not everything's gonna hit for everybody for sure it's the same thing with anime okay so this is a very tall room that I made it out to be I might just switch that over Cause it really is it's not really that big of a place i would say honestly it's about this it's about this high like right here that's about how high it is come on everybody breakfast breakfast this tree you have the footage i even i mean i even took pictures to help me stay in one spot where i'm working at which is now the kitchen it arches a little bit just a little bit which means it actually starts curving up here and looks like it's the same wood as the acacia tree so i'll be using that as well it was just gonna be like making the snow white house all over again <laughs> okay so the middle of the room would be let's see let's count it 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So, technically, it would be... 6, 7... It would be around here that they would start going. So let's put this up here to give us an angle. Okay, and it goes three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, and then just take this part off because there's no beam whatsoever. Oops, got rid of this part. Okay. And it seems we're gonna add just a slight version. Okay, from the picture, I think this is a little too low. I like the beam where it is, but this is a little too low. So what I'm gonna do is just add to, I like, let's add it like this. How does that look? Might look a little bit better actually. Wait, 
wait, no, dang it. Was this like, it was like, ah, no. There we go, okay. It's slightly better. I mean, the room really isn't that, it, it's big and wide. That's about it. <laughs> this up when I'm not recording at night and the light is literally gleaming I could watch it from my computer as I did last time the problem is because I'm using like the original Elgato HD Pro it's backed up a little bit like it's, it loses a couple of seconds so that's the thing that throws me off okay so but it's looking good so far I have to add the little chimney part here as well as finish up the beams and then that's about it, and the, um, oh my god, let me add something else, though. <laughs> that adds something. I'm gonna add lighting in here, of course. I'll probably add the regular lights, though, so let's do that. We're also gonna add it on the beams, I think, just to give it that much flair. Okay, that's the wrong thing. Nice snap. Okay, let's put it right here. Let's put it. Let's put it like that. Oh, it's gonna be off. Maybe just a little bit because it's, uh, it's an even number. But it's fine. We'll keep adding to it. got so far it's still pretty dark so i'm just gonna keep adding some light yes it's not in the movie i'm very much aware but you know there's some things we have to make do with and yeah the beams aren't unfortunately um symmetrical like there's three here but there's four over there it's just something we have to work with <laughs> one thing i forgot and i should have known <laughs> i have to check it again but you know how if you've seen the movie obviously where she's preparing the meals on this table there are the bells where the girls are ringing for their meal or for their breakfast or just for her attention and i'm pretty sure they're right here i could be totally wrong i'm gonna look at it again but if not there are little bells here and there's actually three of them and i love how these just work so well with it um, I'm actually gonna add another sh uh, little light there. But this is so far the kitchen. And I'm gonna, there's actually a hanging thing up here for like the pans and plates. We'll just see how it goes. I don't like how this is. I might just change that as well. But there also is a beam with a ladder. And I will come back to here, but right now, this is so far what it looks like. I really need to fix this up as well. Probably do it off camera. I apologize for that. I'm, I try not to do things too much off camera. But sometimes, you know, I will go over it when I eventually do a full tour of this house. <laughs> right now, well, I have to, I didn't add the door. Wasn't it like a regular door? <laughs> Some of these I have to look back at because I'm not even looking at pictures. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, it's a regular white door on the south side, so yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, that part's done. I think it's time to work in the parlor room. That way, the inside is pretty much done. All I have to do is just do the exterior at that point, along with the backyard, of course. The backyard's probably going to take me the longest part, which is why I said in the last video of this part of the series that this probably might be a five-part process 
You know what? Let's try to make it a different color. Let's get these colors. Why not? Or the warp warp blocks. Whatever works for you. I also need the light because I can't work with this anymore. More than likely the bottom. It's the bottom the same color. No, it looks like it's a different color. It actually looks like it's this color. That makes a little bit of sense. But okay. There's just a rug, of course. Okay, let me add the wolves. This. <laughs> Don't even know what the name is anymore. That's how bad I am. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like it's the same color as the foyer area. So, there's just going to be a giant purple rug around. Kind of like how it is upstairs in the music room. Which I still have not added that rug. But, hey. Let's do this. And I'm actually letting the movie play next to me on my iPad. That's how I actually watch these videos. Or, how I record the videos. I have some when I need it. Sometimes I have like my video on my iPad. Like, the movie I'm working on. So, that helps me out with this. I feel like, I'm pretty sure this room has a lot more windows, because this is way too dark. I'll probably add more windows, because you really don't see this side of the house too much. Or at all. <laughs> so, we're just going to add some windows to it. Make it a little bit bigger. That's what helps with windows, folks. Okay, so, let's see. I think it's the same process. Probably could be just a giant window. Ugh! It is the same color. But let's see. Is this? Do they? Do they change this? What is this? Why did they change? Do they change this? I mean, it's not bad, but hey. Okay, and it looks like the walls are somewhat different, so. I'll do this, and this will be the same ceiling that I would use in the other room, so this works out for me in my favor, at least. I might just make a bathroom here, just for the heck of it. We'll see how it works out. Who knows, I might just leave it open for another video when I do a full-on tour. Because there's more walls that have, like, the same thing here, so maybe- Oh, okay, this works. This works. This totally works. <laughs> got so far I'm probably gonna add a large window here so that way they can see like yes they'll see the street here of their of their front yard but the window that Anastasia and Drizilla look out it looks like it looks like it's coming from here but I'm just gonna add it here just to save the hassle just so and also so it can correlate with the house at the beginning of the video or whenever you see the front of the house so we're just gonna Take apart this little doohickey back here, not shy. Hello, village. Yeah, it just makes it look more open. That's what I liked about it. liberty of covering on the, the ceilings and now they're all dark <laughs> this is going to be the hardest part of the video i'm not gonna do the whole whole thing i'm gonna try my best first of all let me just cover everything up with this because i can't be asked with these cinder blocks anymore <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna end the video off here. Last part, we will continue with making the exterior, finishing up the exterior. I also will add windows, I think somewhere along the line here. 
because it looks like there's windows here. I will work around that in the last part of the video. Hopefully it will be the last part of the video because it is going to take some time to get everything sorted with how the layout inside looks to have it work in the inside as well to have a work on the outside as well so that's part four everyone i hope you all enjoyed we're reaching the end point hopefully it all works out in the end i honestly i'm gonna like I'm, i know i'm gonna like the interior more than i'm gonna like the exterior because <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's nothing it's not gonna look anything like the house at all if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe my channel more gaming content art videos disney content and more to come on my channel check down in the description down below guys all my social links are down below as well as my art conventions that i updated on my twitter account be able to picture that if you're interested. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell, guys, if you haven't already, so that way you know my next video goes live. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!